Hey everyone, Sashank here. In a recent video, I talked about how to make Bento grids for website layouts. I even asked if anyone would be interested in a Bento grid portfolio since I don't see them often and I feel Bento grids are a really good use case for a portfolio website. I only got one request and that's all I needed to make this video. This portfolio is designed with simplicity and beginner in mind. The layout features a photo, name, bio section, two highlighted projects with links to the live previews and their GitHub repositories, a section showcasing the skills and another section to contact. Essentially everything that is needed for a portfolio website. On top of it, it's mobile responsive as well. On smaller screens, the Bento grid transforms into a simple layout for better usability as the Bento box structure isn't ideal for smaller devices when it comes to portfolios. Before we dive into the code, please know that all the code for this project will be available on my GitHub repository, which you will find linked in the description below. If you watched my previous videos, you know I don't write a lot of code in the video but just explain what's necessary so you can understand, experiment and customize it your way. So just clone the repository after listening to uh, my explanation, make the changes to make this portfolio your own. We will be using Vue.js 3 and Tailwind CSS for this project. Let's dive into the code now. Here is a quick look at our folder structure. It is pretty similar to what a fresh view project would look like with one minor difference. I have moved the main.css file from the assets folder to the source folder. This is a common practice to keep things organized and in main.css I have added a font from Google fonts and configured it with Tailwind CSS for easy use. I have also added a primary color for our portfolio website. Let's go to app.view. The app.view acts as the brain of our application. All it really does is to render the appropriate component based on the path defined in our index file in rotor folder. Right now we just have a single route, the root path and it renders home component. So let's go to home component under views. So what the home component here essentially is doing is rendering two versions of the portfolio based on the screen width. If the screen width is below 1280 pixels, we render the mobile layout. Otherwise, we render the desktop version. Yes, we will be creating two different components for desktop version and mobile version. Since Bento Grid is not something that you can easily uh, change it to a mobile version using media queries because uh, the order of the Bento Grid will be different and we cannot change the order of some sections using media queries. Let's go to desktop.view. Here we have the desktop version of the portfolio. To make this process faster, I picked a Bento grid on citrusui.in that fits my needs and made some tweaks to personalize it. Let me show you. Here is the website, the link is in the description. Click on the Bento grid here and you have a lot of Bento grids to select from. If you are interested in learning how to build these kinds of Bento grids from scratch, there is a link to a helpful video in the description. Please have a look at it. So here once you have decided which grid you like, you can just uh, copy the code and use it in your project. So that's what I did. I took this. Uh, layout and I made some changes to get the look that I wanted and then I customized each grid item and that's how this portfolio came to life. Since there is no logic and just styling it would be tedious for me to explain each and every Tailwind class in this desktop.view and it's also boring for you to listen. So take a look at the code and you will understand what's happening as I have clearly provided comments for each section to make it easy for you to understand. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach me on Twitter or just leave me a comment. 
and I try my best to answer them. Mobile.view is exactly same. I mean, I just removed the grid and replaced it with flex, and I just changed the order of the sections. And there we have it a simple but effective Bento grid portfolio website. Remember, the code is available on GitHub. Explore, modify, add your personal touch, and make it truly your own. Let me know in the comments below what you think. If you have any questions, be sure to ask. Until next time, happy coding.